Well, this next story should make your heart smile. I know my heart warmed as soon as I saw them dance. They've got that it factor, as they say. Atlanta's first senior hip hop crew proving that it's never too late to put on your dancing shoes, especially at a time when doctors say not getting up to move is worse for your health than smoking. Here's this morning's Elevating Atlanta. Break your leg, break your arm, break your leg. They're everywhere. Piping it up with Amigos. Dancing off with Macklemore. Halftime shows for the Hawks. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. And sparkling on Atlanta and Company. Seven and eight and a two. The Silver Classics crew taking no shortcuts. You have yeah. to follow certain lines. Yeah. And so yeah. we always are looking to each other to see where they are for placement. These senior dancing queens and king practicing formations at Chambly's Crunch Fitness every Sunday. Hats off. Yeah, Look, I well. was done after the warm up. <laughs> DeKalb County Master Firefighter Tina McWilliams just made the team. How tough was the audition process? The audition process was tough. Anybody that comes in here, you have to have your game face Four on. And five, six, seven, They're a united group, ages 50 to 68, but not just on the dance floor. I just went through uh, prostate cancer and I had my operation on in uh, April of this year, and so I'm still kind of un in recovery, but I'm feeling great, in it, and I attribute it all for the dance because it keeps me healthy and strong. Yes, yes. yes. Many surviving cancer, divorce, parents dying, depression. Marcy Nunnery lost her brother to suicide. Dance was the only place that no one would talk to me. I could just dance, and I just haven't stopped dancing, mm -hmm. and this has kept me from crying all night long. <laughs> it's real. Yeah. Dancing, slowing down the tears, and shaving years off their bodies. It's an awakening. I mean, it's like, hello. Dancing to Cardi B. So while filming this story, the team told me about their oldest member not able to make it in for practice. I never met her that day. 77 years old, battling stage four breast cancer. Sandra Ferrier died a week ago today. The Silver Classics crew posting this tribute on Instagram saying heaven received a beautiful dancing angel. Sandra lived in Buckhead. She was a mother, a grandmother, and a great grandmother.